Liv Deacon, thank you very much for joining me. Um, now, no one's assuming that the Grand Slam is on the cards yet, but uh, we're wary of Scotland. We're, we're certainly um, sure of their record at Twickenham over the last 20 or so years. Um, with their performance so far, do we have to look at this game at the weekend with fear or, or you know, over-respecting them? Surely we can go out there based on England's performances and, and put well, some we, points on them. Well, we, we respect them because I know this competition's not gone so, so well for them so far, but in, in the autumn they... They had some good results, you know, beat, beating South Africa, and then again going back to their summer tour, that they they did well against Argentina. And I think we've not even managed to beat Argentina away. So you have to respect them because they're they're tough teams to play against. Now, Courtney Laws, um, we're expecting probably to be starting on the bench uh, on Sunday. Um, with him in that position, and you having to you know make sure you fight for the shirt. Do you get told by the management well, Courtney will definitely be coming on at 50 minutes, at 60 minutes, at 70, or do you have to just maintain your top line speed for as long as you can throughout the game? Yeah, I, I, it's, that's down to the coaches to make that decision. They want, they want to tell the players, um, you know, what they're what they're planning on doing. You just go out there and concentrate on on your game and, and perform to your best. And when they feel they need to make a change, they'll do that. I suppose. OK, well, we're going to allow you to relax and remain light-hearted with a few, uh, few silly questions that we've managed to get from some of our friends online at the Rugby Blog. Um, I'll start with uh, a couple of ge general ones. Um, it's along the lines of would you rather. So, uh, would you rather never lie or never tell the truth? Would, I lie? I never would you rather never lie or never tell the truth? I never lie. Ah, lovely. Um, would you rather the phone was never invented or TV was never invented? Oh, God. Uh, the phone. Go. He wants his privacy. Um, this one is just frankly absurd. Would you rather have uncontrollable hair or uncontrollable arms? <laughs> <laughs> uncontrollable arms. Brilliant. Come up with these. Oh, I know. It's impressive, isn't it? Yeah. Um, now, Maxine Boots wanted to find out in the Snog Marry Pusher for Cliff scenario uh, with Susan Boyle, Julian McKeith, and for some reason then James Haskell. Uh, who you would snog, who you would marry, and who you would push off a cliff. Susan Boyle, Gillian McKeith, and James Haskell. Haskell would be off the cliff. Haskell straight off the cliff yeah, there. Without a doubt. Well, you, you've got to snog one of Susan Boyle or Gillian McKeith. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, it's not a. Sorry, but. Um, <laughs> neither. <laughs> oh, he's, he's, he's ducked the question. Yeah. Um, Mark Gates wanted to know do you ever get confused for Queen bassist John Deacon? Doesn't happen, absolutely the answer I was expecting. Um, would you rather have a fire engine or a talking badger? Fire engine. Fire engine, interesting. I'd have gone for the talking badger myself. Um, would you rather for the rest of your life talk like Yoda or breathe like Darth Vader? Breathe like Darth Vader, I suppose. Don't I, know why. I like the amount of thought that went into that, yeah. to be honest. Um, would you rather fly or be invisible? Fly, I think. Fly. Good answer. Um, would you rather, the interesting question is the second round, would you rather be a metre taller or a metre shorter? Taller. Taller? Blimey, how tall are you now? 6'6". Six, six. I don't like being meters? too tall though, that's the problem. Yeah. But if I was shorter, if I was shorter I'd probably could play in the back row, so... There you go. Yeah. Right, might be changing your answer. That would be a um, And would you rather have no reflection or have a theme tune play every time you walk into a room? <laughs> No reflection. No. He's not keen on having a theme tune when no. he plays, when he enters the room, rather. Um, and uh, don't want the <laughs> and uh, the quiet man. And Tom James wants to know. Uh, he was saying Ben Youngs was seen with his head down the toilet of the Loaded Dog pub in Leicester, apparently. And uh, he wanted to know if he's the worst drinker in the side, or possibly in England as well. Um, no, Harry Ellis is the worst drinker I've ever seen. <laughs> really? Without a doubt. Yeah. With, with Leicester and England. Yes. Brilliant. Well, I'm glad we've been able to give you been able to give you a bit of a distraction before the Scotland game. Best of luck in the okay. and thanks very much for your time. Thank you very much.